Welcome to County Office, your ultimate guide to local government services and public records. Let's get started. What policy issues must employers address when developing benefit plans? When it comes to developing benefit plans, employers have to navigate a complex web of regulations and requirements to ensure they are providing fair and financially sound benefits to their employees. Let's break it down. First, employers need to comply with the Employee Retirement Income Security Act, or ERISA. This law sets minimum standards for employee benefit plans, including retirement plans and welfare plans like health, disability, and death benefits. ERISA requires that these plans be managed for the exclusive benefit of the participants and beneficiaries, and that those managing the plans act in a prudent manner and avoid conflicts of interest. Employers must also ensure they provide the promised benefits and comply with various reporting and disclosure requirements. This includes funding benefits according to the law and plan rules and reporting the operations and financial condition of the plans to both the government and the participants. Additionally, they need to provide documents required for investigations to ensure compliance. Another critical aspect is the Summary Plan Description, SPD. Employers must distribute an up-to-date SPD to eligible employees every five years. This document must include specific information about the plan and the plan sponsor, as well as an ERISA Statement of Rights. It's essential that this document is easily understandable and distributed properly to satisfy ERISA requirements. Compliance with the Internal Revenue Code is also mandatory. For example, employers need to ensure that deferred compensation arrangements comply with Section 409A of the Code. This involves making sure that bonuses and other forms of deferred compensation are vested and paid according to specific rules to avoid additional taxes and penalties. Health Insurance Portability and Accountability Act, HIPAA, is another area of concern. Employers with self-insured health plans must ensure the confidentiality of health information following HIPAA privacy rules. This includes having policies and processes in place to protect this information and understanding when it can be disclosed without authorization. 5. The Genetic Information Non-Discrimination Act is another law employers must comply with. GINA prohibits employers from using genetic information in a discriminatory manner, both for health insurance and employment purposes. Employers cannot request genetic information from employees or their family members. In recent years, there have been changes and updates that employers need to be aware of. For instance, the Consolidated Appropriations Act of 2021 expanded ERISA's compensation disclosure regime to include welfare plan service providers. This means brokers and consultants must disclose if they expect to receive at least $1,000 in direct or indirect compensation for their services. Additionally, employers need to navigate state laws and regulations, particularly those affecting pharmacy benefit management, PBM, and gender-affirming care. These laws can vary significantly across states and may impact the design and cost of pharmacy benefits under employer-sponsored plans. In summary, developing benefit plans involves a lot of careful planning and compliance with various federal and state laws. Employers must stay updated on the latest regulations to ensure they are providing benefits that are both fair and legally sound. To learn more, check out these links, which you can click in the description below and feel free to comment your questions. We're here to help. Want the inside scoop on your neighborhood? Imagine knowing exactly what your neighbors paid or who actually owns that stunning house down the block. At countyoffice.org, you can create a free account and snoop through over 150 million property records, owner names, mortgage details, sale prices, all those things other sites make you pay for. Don't miss out on the fun. Just Google countyoffice.org property records or head to countyoffice.org directly and create your free account today. Go on, get your snoop on.